<laughs> okay, um, good evening everyone. So uh, my name is Hao. Okay. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you to Asian Consulting so who hosts the event uh, today and also Paris Viet uh, who allowed me to be here to share with you all about the workflow automation with uh, Node.js. So I will walk through some um, contents, uh, go about the idea and also the design of the workflow MC and also the uh, flow language. Uh, okay, uh, a bit before by myself, so I'm, how I'm from Vietnam and I used to work in, in software industry for more than 15 years and I worked for Force and Hitachi in Vietnam. Last year I moved to France for MBA program at SX. Uh, I think this slide stop the date. <coughs> uh, we need synchronize. This one open and the yeah, okay. And let's go on audience No, This one we can we can mm -hmm. delete. Yeah. You can delete both. <coughs> this one too, because it's not so So uh, throughout my journey, uh, professional journey, so I see on most business they all need a workflow system in the IT landscape. So a system that allow you the business to automate their processes, and uh, also a system can coordinate and and and, and run execute the tasks and events in the business processes. Okay, so uh, for Node.js, it's a well-known um, application, you know, and uh, so uh, it's, it's quite good in handling the event. And I found out that uh, there is a feature that the work, uh, worker threads, which allow to have polyglot runtime, which can execute the JavaScript and also the Python code. Okay, um, so what we have, what we need in a workflow uh, system. So uh, at first we need the flow descriptions. So actually for every flow, we need uh, multiple nodes in the flow and the connection between the nodes. So which uh, would have the data flow in, in uh, data flow from node to node. And second, we need to control and also coordinate the task and event in the flow. So here we have the container components and also the controller and uh, the runner here. The controller uh, is will uh, manage, it will keep track the flow state and also have all the facilitate component like adapter or path handler. Uh, the controller is, um, is the main factor to control and coordinate the path in the flow. And when the, the task is ready for running, so it will send to the runner. The runner will be responsible to interface with the runtime. So it will prepare the data and also the path instruction that will be sent to the uh, worker here. 
we have a JS worker or Python worker. Uh, out of that, so uh, in some uh, complex uh, business requirement, it's sometimes we need a task to be executed in a future, in a specific time in future, so that we need a task scheduler also. Let's uh, deep dive a little more detail about the task controller and, and also scheduler. On the left hand side, you can see the uh, task controller. He actually extends the event emitter of uh, Node.js uh, with the feature, with the method of writing event and also listening to event that can help us to monitor task status. On the right hand side, you see the task scheduler. Actually, uh, it's based on a, uh, a task queue which uh, help the data structure of the tree. It's really good to uh, to store to to store the task and with an order of uh, execution time. You could see here the uh, for every task we have a key and value. For uh, for the key, it's a combination of uh, execution time and also running time. And the task controller will continuously push and pop uh, the task from the queue in order to, to execute. Okay, so once uh, the task is ready for execution, it will uh, send to the, uh, uh, the uh, runtime. Here, uh, I leverage the worker thread. This allows us to spin in multiple threads. Uh, Actually, it, it uh, lives in the same process of uh, Node.js, but uh, for that we can spin up um, different runtime. For example, uh, <coughs> we can uh, leverage the module isolate VM for JS uh, execution, and also BioDive for Python execution. So we can send the Swift uh, to the runtime for, for execution. Okay, so um, we done for the engine. So for the um, so how how the engine can interpret the task uh, workflow description. So here, um, typically the, typically we need a visual programming language, like uh, we have uh, a, a user interface design which have uh, multiple nodes and also arrow to connect the nodes. But here I try to uh, implement an orchestration language. Uh, Actually, it's, uh, it's in JavaScript, uh, and, and I did uh, implement some primitive function like a path or a, a workflow, etc. So let's take an example, uh, a business requirement. Let's say we have uh, in an e-commerce e business, we have requirement to every day we need to find a list of users who are on their birthday, and we need to find the uh, uh, discount code and send to, to those user. So here we need to define two paths. The first one uh, that we need to find the user. Actually this one, so we, uh, the path, this start will be triggered frequently uh, by a control and also some logic to, to find the user. Um, you can see the coding here. Actually uh, there is a primitive function path with, with taking the Pass ID and also two methods. Uh, one is spin. That means that um, this method will be executed at the loading time, uh, just one uh, of the flow, and the run will be triggered. Um, will trigger um, at the time the, the task uh, execute. Okay, and the uh, um, second task, um, second task that uh, will send the discount to the user. It, it takes the, uh, taking the result from the previous task and also also have some logic to select the discount and also send email to the user. For every task um, with the run method, we need to notify the engine whether the task has done or not. So uh, this we will call the method uh, task done. So that we have uh, two tasks already, and we need to to uh, make it in the flow, uh, which those tasks need to be run in in sequential order. So we put in the sequence uh, primitive function. Here we have uh, sequence and also the file user and send discount. 
that means the uh, gold side will be executed uh, one by one, and uh, the 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 uh, next start will be we will receive the result from the previous start. Okay. So um, there could be more uh, primitive function you, uh, we can define in order to uh, realize more complexity, more complex flow. Like uh, we need to execute the task uh, in parallel, or we need to implement the conditional logic in the flow. So we can have uh, like this uh, parallel uh, primitive and also mesh function. Okay. Um, so there are still more step in order to make the flow um, to be fully functional in uh, production mode. So uh, and the possible comprehensive uh, workflow system will will make include the easy uh, to to view uh, visual interface to this de defy design the workflow and also it can support the logic and also about the uh, error handling. Etc. Okay, so um, that's all about my uh, presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, so let me know. Thank you.